Hello guys, welcome back to Onyx Food Hill. Thank you for joining me again today. Please, if you are new to this channel, subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own soy flour or soy beans powder. To make soy flour, you need soy beans. So here I have got two cups of soy beans. I'm going to show you straight away how you can make that. To make this soy flour, it's best you start by cleaning your soy beans. So I'm going to start by rinsing this severally until it's clean. The last washing is going to be into the pot. So I'm just washing this the last time, then I'm bringing it into the pot. If you don't want to use this method, you can just soak your soybeans overnight and then peel the skin. Next, I'm going to add water to cover the soybeans, then place it on heat to boil. Next, I'm going to place the lid over it and boil this for 25 minutes. Okay, so this has started boiling already. I'm going to just stir this, leave it to cook for another 5 minutes. After that, I'm just going to turn off the heat. I'm just going to strain out this water. This water is very toxic. That's why it's important to drain it out. This is what it looks like. It's very toxic. Now, I'm going to bring this into a bowl. Add cold water to it. I'm still going to be straining this again. I'm still adding water to this. This time around, we are going to peel this. If you are going to be making your soybeans flour, it's best you prepare it at night before you make the powder so that you leave the beans to dry on the sink overnight. I'm just going to use my hand to peel this. It's very easy. Once this is boiled, it's easy for the skin to peel off. Okay. Now I'm going to strain this to remove the skin. Still going to be using the same water to rinse this. It's just a similar way of peeling beans. Okay, so this is the last time of straining this. I'm done peeling the skin. You can take some time to pick out the beans that fell in with the skin. Okay, so I'm not going to rinse this the last time with clean water. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to rinse this into the strainer again. I'm just going to leave this to drain on its own for the rest of the night. That's why I said it's better to do this at night before you make the powder to allow the soybeans to drain most of its water before 
you dry it properly I'm going to be leaving this in this trainer to sit for the rest of the night so guys after leaving this to drain in the sink I have spread it out in a in a tray to allow it to dry for some hours this is what it looks like most of the water has reduced so I'm now going to roast these I'm not going to transfer this to the oven tray remember this is not fully dried so I'm still going to continue drying it and at the same time roasting it in the oven you can simply dry this in the sun then roast it in a pan or on a stove top okay so I'm just leaving this in the oven to dry okay so 15 minutes later I just brought this out I'm going to just mix everything I'm going to put this back again for another 15 minutes and it should be ready so after roasting this it is nicely brown and dry at this point you can combine it with other grains like peanuts wheat to grind it's a very good food for babies and a good source of protein that's why it's called protein powder so at this stage we are going to grind this so there are two ways to make this if you don't want to roast this you can simply cook this for a longer time maybe let's say like 40 minutes on heat to kill all the toxic substances okay so now I'm going to just go ahead and blend this into a smooth powder so I'm just adding this to my blender. I'm going to blend this a little at a time. So once done grinding, I'm going to bring this into a strainer to strain this. Once ground into fine powder like this, it can be added in pancake mixes, cakes, donuts, to make cookies and also it is used extensively to make huge and so many other things good for children is a very good source of protein for children however some people are allergic to this which is important you take note of that okay so after sieving this this is what remains so you can just simply add this to the blender and blend again because it's still grainy so this is what we've got after straining this look at this fine powder okay okay guys your soybeans flour is ready this is a very good source of protein for children so you can easily mix this in your kids food and it's fine however some people are allergic to this it's important you take note of that okay so your protein powder or soybeans powder it's ready so thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video do give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also you can share this with your friends until next time see you shortly bye